maybe just for the night. She don't trust me, so she bring it right back. And tell her friends I love it like that. No, she don't trust me, so she trying to lock me down real fast. Cause as a matter of What's up guys, hope everyone is having a great day and um, I'm excited to share with you a, an effect and also I'm going to be doing a um, bit of a, a series of different transitional effects and cool ways to add a little spunk, a little spice to your music videos. And I'm going to be providing you with a free cracked version to Gen Art Sapphire plugins for After Effects, which is going to give you loads and loads of new effects <coughs> to really add, a, add a, just a way new look to your music videos or just videos in general. So first off I'm going to show you the effect that I've created and um, then I'm going to show you how to download the um, Sapphire plugin and then we'll get into the tutorial of it. So first um, here is the, <coughs> the effect and I will play that now. So a really cool way to transition from one scene to the next. Uh, I'll play it one more time so you can have another look. So, uh, first off, what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description um, and download the WinRare file package. And you're going to get this file right here. Just double click on it, uh, exit on that if you get that message. Open this up and it's really simple. Just click the um, file and let it load. Press yes if this comes up. And it's in a different language, but don't worry. Literally all you do is press this button, which I'm assuming it says install in whatever language this is in. Uh, press it install, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it, but voila and you will have loads and loads of plugins I'll show you right here so you're gonna get sapphire adjust all of these and within each one of these effects there's loads of variations within those two which is just fantastic you're gonna love it if you don't have it already so anyway uh, to get into this you are gonna need one clip um, and when, in one scene or one, one scenario or whatever, one location, and then your second clip um, in a different location. I guess it doesn't really matter, but this is just what I prefer. So um, what, I, what I like to do for this sort of effect is um, use a bit of camera motion as well to just create a more, um, just a, a smoother transition, a seamless looking transition. So for your first clip, what you're gonna to wanna to do, or what I prefer to do, is pan off in one direction. And so if we look at the raw clip here, I pan off up to the right. And in my second clip, I repeat that same motion, but this time I come down into the scene, as you can see right here. So what you wanna do is, after you have matched up each scene uh, to the you know lip sync it pretty much, um, match it up to the audio. What you want to do is, um, I've already pre-composed this one, so I have to double click, so hopefully this isn't confusing, but anyway, here is uh, the end of the first clip. And what you want to do is just do a, um, pretty much a dissolve, a, a manual dissolve transition. So what you want to do is click on your video, go to transform, so transform, and go down to opacity. And if you don't know what opacity is, opacity is basically the uh, transparency of your film. So if your opacity is at 100, you can see the full clip. And if we scroll down to the second keyframe here, my opacity is at 0, and now the clip is gone. So 0 transparency to 100 transparency, pretty much. So what you want to do is click the stopwatch here and leave it at 100, scroll down to where you want the clip to end, so I want it to fade out at this point, and then drag it to zero. So then the same thing goes for your clip two. So again, transform, opacity, first keyframe is reverse. So this one's gonna be at zero, as you can see, and then scroll to where you want it to come in and place it at 100. So that creates a 
as you can see, they just kind of morph together real smoothly. And so next you are going to need two adjustment layers. Don't worry about these ones. This is just a color grade that I did because I didn't like to look at the film. And then this second one is just the text right here. So you're probably not going to have that in your video. So anyway, so what you want to do is layer new adjustment layer. I'm not going to do it because I already have it right here. So it's going to create a new layer and Within that layer, what you want to do is, I'll delete this, um, go to, so make sure you clicked on it, Effect, Sapphire Distort, and Distort Chroma. Then you get this little uh, page here. Click on Load Preset, and this is what I'm saying, within each effect, you're going to have various little uh, variations of that effect. But for this one, we are going to use the default one. And you don't need to adjust any of these. You can if you want to, if you want it to be more distorted or whatnot. That's up to you. But anyway, this, this look right here is about as distorted as I want it to be. And again, we're going to adjust the opacity of this adjustment layer now. So what you want to do is, again, go to click on the clip, transform opacity. And as you can see... I want the distort chroma effect to be at zero at this keyframe, and I want it to slowly come in to 100 here. And then I want it to be distorted for a while as it swings back down, still leaving it at 100. Then click make another keyframe. So you're going to click this, make another keyframe, leave it at 100, and then again, when you want the effect to go away, drag it to zero. So basically what that does is the distort chroma comes in right about now, the same time as your clips fade into each other, stays, and then right here, it slowly fades out and exits. So that's the first look. Then what I like to do is add, add another sort of distortion, which is the just a simple RGB distortion. So you're going to I already have it pulled up. I'll delete it so I can show you and delete that. And so here's, so again, layer, new, adjustment layer. I already have it, so I'm not going to click it, but here's my layer. Then you're going to go to effect, distort, distort RGB right underneath your first one, distort chroma. So click on that and open up the load preset. For mine, I use the color slip. And <clears throat> so this is going to be just slightly different than adjusting the opacity of it. So within this, it's going to be the same sort of thing where you're using keyframes. And you're going to so see how you can see the, the distortion right here. But I don't want that distortion to come in. So if you look, it's in there and it just doesn't look right because it just pops out of nowhere. Again, we're going to do the transparency thing. So about right in the middle here. What I what I prefer to do is anyway, so you're gonna what I prefer to do is have it increased in the middle. So I want it to be uh, let's say 50 is fine. So make sure you have your slot block selected there. So this is the point where I want it to be the highest, and I'm gonna drag to uh, about right here and set this at zero. So now it's gone away, and again. So you can see the first keyframe right here slowly comes into 50 here. And then again, we're going to have it exit. Uh, I want it to exit about right here. So zero and enter. And watch that again, but that is pretty much it. One more time. find it to be a really cool looking transition and I think it works really well again if you have some camera motion uh, going up and back down into it uh, just to create a more um, cleaner look. So anyway, please subscribe to me. I'm going to be doing, um, I did, I just did this music video. I'm currently in New Zealand from, from the U.S. I'm here studying abroad and I got in contact 
with these rappers and pretty much we've just been grinding out making a really interesting looking music video and I have tons of cool effects to show you guys and share and loads more to come. So do me a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials and also I'll be giving you guys along the way as I get more subscribers, giving you guys tons of more free packages and plugins and presets for Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, everything. Um, I'm very well rounded in Adobe software and I have lots and lots to share. But for now, peace out guys and I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me any comments. Um, I'll get to them right away if you have any questions. Um, but for now, have a good day and keep editing and keep shooting film. Peace guys.